Hi guys, it's me, Mama Fody, and it is Sunday Fashion Day. And a little bit more from me. I got a few hints for you today. I have a couple little things for you. So let's start with a little quiz, okay guys? Now, say you're going on a first date, right? And you order a salad, and the salad has like lettuce, tomato, onions, cucumbers, croutons, a dressing, right? And you're on a first date and you're, or have this salad. What is the one thing in that salad you're going to take out on a first date that you're not going to eat? Okay? So if you're having this salad and you're on a first date, okay, and there's lettuce, tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, what do you think is the thing that you would take out on a first date that you would not want to eat when you're with that guy or with that girl on that date? Come on, think about it. Out of all those things, what do you think that you would want to take out on a first date? Come on, guys. I know what you guys are thinking. You would probably think that you would take out the onions, right? Because you would, you would have bad breath. And if you wanted to kiss the guy at the end of the night, you would think onions would be the first thing to take out because you would have smelly breath. Well, guess what? The answer is the tomatoes. Now, why do you think the tomatoes would be? Because, say you're sitting across from the guy, right? And you go to bite into one of those tomatoes, you know, the tiny little tomatoes. If you bite it and it squirts, <laughs> believe it or not, it can squirt across to your partner and it could get all the seeds and juice across him on his face or on his clothes. Now, that wouldn't be too nice, right? Yeah, believe it or not, guys, I read this poll and the answer was the tomatoes. Take the tomatoes out of the salad. Not the onions. Now, I would definitely take out the onions because, you know, if I want a little kissy kiss, I would take out the onions so I have good breath. But no, they said take out the tomatoes because if you bite into the tomatoes and it squirts all over the place, it's going to squirt on your partner. I was laughed. I laughed so fun. I, I thought it was so funny that that was the answer. Yeah, it was a big poll. They did this poll and that was the answer to take out the tomatoes, not the onion. Well, hey, I'm going to take out the onions too just in case I want to kiss. Unless he eats the onions too. Then you both have onion breath. But that was the case in that poll. I thought it was hysterical. But anyway, here we go. I went to a bridal shower today, okay, for my niece, Mary. And this bridal shower was more like a wedding. It was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Her colors are that all the girls are going to wear like that dark purple, beautiful purple color. And, um, so she came in and he knows her and she knew it was her shower. So she wanted to come with her hair done, her nails done. And she had the most beautiful, beautiful purple skirt on like a ballet skirt, like, um, all lace, beautiful lace with the white, um, top on. And of course she's beautiful and skinny and got big boobs. She got the body, she got everything to go with it. And, um, this bridal shower was, you know, you had the hors d'oeuvres, you had the dinner, you had the dessert, you had a, a candy bar to go fill up bags and stuff. But I'm telling you, the things that we did at this shower was so much fun. And one of the great things I thought they thought of was awesome because they had bring your presents, but don't wrap them, which was an awesome idea because you know how it is at a shower when you go to a shower and by the time the bride gets to the presents and you got to unwrap every single present, it takes forever, hours to open presents, right? So this shower, they wrote an invitation, bring your um, gifts unwrapped. Wonderful idea. And then they also had a little basket that was for bring something for the bride and groom to bring on their honeymoon. You know, say a little shampoo or Q-tips or um, who knows, anything, that, uh, lotion, maybe a towel, maybe a little sexy something, you know, anything like that. So they had a basket for that, which was really cute, really great idea. So by the time we got to the presents, 
you know, they had the cards, the presents were unwrapped so she could go through everything. One, two, three. Open the cards, say, this is from so-and-so. Oh, a beautiful set of um, glassware or um, a crock pot or um, a tea fowl, whatever, or a blender, whatever it may be. Everything was already open so she didn't have to unwrap it. So the presents went by one, two, three. It was awesome. And the girls also thought of another great thing. They hung a rope around one of the big tables in the front. And hanging on this rope was with, um, you know, those clips or what do you call those clothespins with all little sexy teddies, all little sexy underwears for the bride um, for her honeymoon and whatever. It was so cute. And they were all in dark purple or pink, all the colors of her wedding. Gray, purple, pink. I mean, it was so cute, so awesome. And we played a game. Um, one of the games was we had a guess um, who was the first one that... Um, kiss each other. Who was the first one that said, I love you? Who was the first one that, um, oh, who was the best cook? We had to guess wh which one it was, her or him. Um, who drank the most coffee? Um, who wanted two kids or, you know, just little questions like that about each other. We had to guess and whoever's the winner got a bottle of wine. Um, then what the best one was, we had to <laughs> take, to put toilet paper on everybody's table. So we had to pick a girl from the table and we had to get the toilet paper and dress her up like a bride. Well, we took one of the young girls from our table, took the toilet paper, wrapped her up, wrapped her up, made streamers going down the back. We made her a beautiful veil. We made it like a rose on the top, on the side. We took some of the fig flowers out of, no, they were real flowers, off the table, the plant that was there, and put the flowers around the, um, around the little bow that we made. We made a bow around the, um, on her waist with the flowers. We made her a bouquet. She looked, all, our girl looked the best at everybody, but of course, there was a little five-year-old girl that they dressed up, and of course, the bride had to pick who was the best, and of course, she picked the little girl because she's a little girl. What do you think? But our girl was the best. She looked so hot. We dressed her in the purple like the girls um, in the wedding is going to be, purple flowers. I mean, it was awesome. I wish I took a picture. Of course, I didn't. But I'm telling you, those are awesome things for shower girls. And look at the favors that they made. They have these little bags like this. And they got a stamp. It's like a birth sack little bag. They got, like they said, at the um, dollar store or at a flea market. They got these. And they had somebody out of a wood, like a tree trunk wood, cut these all real thin. They painted them purple. And then they took a stamp or one of those gold pens and wrote forever love. So you can use it as a toaster um, to put your glasses on in your living room or den so nobody ruins your furniture. I thought they were so cute. I mean, they thought out everything. It was really awesome. So that was that. That was just a great day. So I thought that was some cute tips for you guys. And also, I wanted to tell you, um, I read a big thing about do not use the shampoo that has the conditioner already in it that says shampoo, conditioner, together. It, may, it does not do anything for your hair. It makes it limp. It, you can't do anything with it. It draws everything out of your hair. If you're thinking you're doing a good thing by using both together, you're not. It's not a good thing. It weighs your hair down. It makes it limp. It makes it greasier faster. You have to use the shampoo separate than the conditioner. So you'd buy a shampoo and you would buy a conditioner. Two separate things, not together because you're not doing yourself any good. And the other thing I wanted to tell you was, guys, are you catching those gladiator sandals? I think think they're awesome. I love them. I'm out to go get some very soon this week. I like the ones that come up to the knee. I think they are so fucking hot. The gladiator sneakers and the fringe sandals, they are hot too. Wicked, 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 wicked. They are on sleigh. Yes, they are. Slay, 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 slay. No, that's not. I think slay is wrong. I have to say on fleek, on fleek. They are so on fleek. Love those ones. And when you're buying lettuce, if you buy those lettuce, um, the lettuce that comes in the bag, you know, that has everything in it, make sure you buy the ones that are not um, like, like a full, the bag is full. Make sure you buy the flattest bag, like with all the gas taken out of it. 
because that's the freshest one and it will stay the freshest longest because all the gas is out. When you buy the ones that are fluff full, like fluffy, the, all the gas is still in there and it's going to be bad much faster. They always tell me, I read, always buy the one that's very flat and all the gas is out. It will last longer. That's another tip. And you know what's going down the runway, guys? Trench, to trench coats. Girls are wearing these trench coats as dresses with a belt. They do look sexy. And if I got a little tip for you, hmm, really nice tip. Why don't you go knock on your boyfriend's door with that trench coat tied with nothing underneath. And when he comes and opens the door and you walk inside and you take off that trench coat and he says nothing underneath, well, baby, you're going to have a fun even, aren't you? A little bit of sexy, sexy sex going on. I think it is so hot. He going to be hot? You going to be hot? And the two hots together is going to be <sighs> like a steam engine coming at you. So think about that, girls. I think that's a sexy tip. And guys, I think you might enjoy it too. So Patty Fody, with a few tips and sizzle. For you guys and remember mama photo is always here for you you know i am with any kind of tips you want just let me know and i want you to check out a great place called hamburger mary's bar and grill it's all over the country all you have to do is go to Hamburger Mary's Bar and Grill. They're all over the country. They're in Florida. They're in Kansas. There are so many in California and Chicago and Denver and Illinois. Um, I know my son Nicky's been to a couple of them. He said they're awesome. It's a place that hires all um, gay people, lesbian people, transgender people. Um, they have shows um, where drag queens come out and they put on a show while you're eating dinner. They have karaoke. They have, um, I saw, you know the show Undercover Boss? Well, they were on there. And they showed all the entertainment that they have. All the people that they hire that have had very sad lives. That There's stories that I've heard on there about um, these gay people that have been thrown out of the house from the rotten ass families that throw them out because they're gay. And just kick them out like they're a piece of shit. You don't belong here. And they come around with no money in their pockets. And they come to Hamburger Mary's. They hire them. And these guys have said so much appreciation for this um, restaurant. And they're hired. And they have the best life now because of these two guys that own this franchise. It's a wonderful place. Wonderful place to work. Great friends. I mean, this hamburger marries for the people that work there, and they give one person ten thousand dollars to help them get their transgender surgery. They give one five thousand dollars to get a car to get to work and have some schooling. Um, they they fired one of the girls because she wasn't um, gay or anything, and she was so arrogant and angry to the people, she was out the door. But like I said, they do good for all the people out there that need help, that have had hard times because they were gay or whatever they were. But this place is awesome. Like I said, entertainment. Go check it out. Check out where one is close by you. Go and have fun. Go have a great dinner. The food is just excellent. Like I said, they, sh they put on a drag queen show. They have karaoke, all different kind of entertainment and games and the great food. So check it out, guys. Let me know how you like it. And Patty Foti is out. Peace out. Love you guys so much. Check it out. Bye.